And there you go. There's your look at Free Realms. Free Realms. Thanks for that, Homer. Uh, GameSpot's live coverage of E3 2008 continues. Right now I'm joined by Eric Lindstrom, who's the creative de director at Crystal Dynamics. We're talking about a, another highly anticipated game. Of course, I'm talking about Tomb Raider Underworld. Eric, welcome. Thank you. All right. So uh, we're going to roll some footage of this game uh, in just a bit, but I, I first want to set this up. Uh, you, it's, it's like being on Leno. You brought a clip. What are we looking? What are we going to be looking at? So what we're looking at now, I believe, is uh, very early on in the game. Okay. We wanted to surprise people with an exploration environment that they wouldn't expect, so we dropped Lara Croft in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. That's, that's, how, how did she get there? Out of a plane? or She has a yacht, okay. of course. Of course, naturally. <laughs> and she's got scuba gear, and she dives down, and that's all we tell the player is, there's a ruin down there, go find it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's typically that's something that Laura would do. That's right up her alley, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So if you guys want to roll that footage, we can do that. But um, what, what's, what's new about the Underworld? Uh, what are you excited about with this game? The overall experience is just brought to a new level of epic adventure. She goes to many places around the world searching for Underworlds. This is the Mediterranean Sea we're looking at right now. This is the very opening of the game? Yep. Okay. All of the places that she goes are all protected by natural predators. And worse, as she gets deeper into these ruins, the deeper she goes, the older it gets, and the crazier and creepier it gets. But there are many things to discover down in these underworlds, layers of history and mystery that she finds. Does the entirety of the story take place in this underwater uh, uh, environment, or is it... Uh, no, not at all. She goes okay. around the world to okay. very many different places. She goes to Central America. She goes to the coastal Thailand uh, jungle. She goes to... Uh, the very far north, we're not saying how far yet, Okay. and the Mediterranean Sea, uh, looking for artifacts that uh, will all chain together to the storyline that she's pursuing. Of course, one of the the fun things about a new Lara Croft game is all the new moves that she can do, all the spectacular athletic uh, acrobatics that she can do. What can we expect in Underworld? So she can do a lot more than ever before. We asked ourselves at the very beginning, what could Lara do? What is the kind of thing that people would expect from an adventurer who's as strong and fearless as her? So we gave her the ability to balance walk on beams, to wall kick to higher locations. She's got two guns, now she can fire them at different targets at the same time. But she's often overwhelmed by even more than two enemies, so she needs to melee them as well to keep their claws away from her. She has all kinds of contextual animations that allow her to interact with the world in many more ways than ever before, and she's got big puzzles to meet those challenges. And it wouldn't be a, a, a Lara Croft Tomb Raider game without uh, some great enemies. Can you tell us about some of the things we'll be fighting in this game? Well, we're seeing her fight sharks. Uh, she fights sharks more than once in the game. She finds natural predators in the locations she goes everywhere. Um, but uh, as she goes deeper into the room, she finds forgotten things, cryptids we call them, the uh, things you don't find in the zoo. Uh, the deeper you go, the crazier it gets, and uh, it's hard to say more without uh, spoiling it. Yeah, we don't want to spoil too much, but we're looking at a puzzle in this footage right now. She's underwater. What's happening with this puzzle here? This is basically the trainer puzzle that we start the game off to give players a taste of what's to come. She has these three wheels she's turning that she needs to align the open eyes in the center properly but she also needs to find the axles required to get these discs to turn to finally get that door open. Whenever we have a, a Tomb Raider game, I know people go crazy. They want to know more about this game. So, Don, do you have questions for Eric regarding uh, Tomb Raider Underworld? Oh, my goodness, we have so many questions. Jim Holmes out of Wingdale, New York, wants to know, how can Laura's guns fire underwater? That's well, crazy. It is a fact that you can fire a well-made 9mm underwater. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> so you can fire your guns underwater. They just have very low range, very low accuracy, and you're using your spear gun. So then that kind of leads into Nolan's question from Frankfort, New York. Will Laura have any other new weapons or equipment in her arsenal, aside from what you've mentioned before? So the spear gun, she also has uh, a tranquilizer gun, which is a new one for those people that don't want to kill all the fuzzy animals they find out in the world. Uh, she also has an upgraded grenade that sticks to targets. In fact, uh, back in the office, we're fond of uh, trying to stick a uh, grenade right on the nose of a shark. It's, it's hard not to notice, looking at the, this footage, just how gorgeous this game is. Some really impressive lighting effects. Can you talk about the, the development of the, on the graphical side for this game? Yeah, we've got some really powerful shaders that uh, have brought this to the point where even I can't tell the difference between where the geometry ends and the shader technology begins. Yeah. Uh, our lighting is phenomenal because we're actually using a lot of dynamic light mixed with some very old school technology of using light and shadow maps. That's what makes our environment so much richer than a lot of the developments that are focusing entirely on real dynamic lights all the time.
A lot of the early Tomb Raider games had the need for very precise controls. The, the puzzles were very exacting in, in how you needed to make a jump or solve a puzzle. Uh, expect more of that in Underworld, or is it? Uh, I guess the question is, what's the difficulty curve like? Uh, it's it's fun. It's not supposed to be punishing. Right. So what you need to do is to figure out what to do and not to micromanage your controller to actually get that to happen. So we wanted it to be very fun and accessible, but more of an experience and less of a of a chore. Okay, uh, Don, Francis, let's, uh, we, we're done with the footage. Let's have a couple more questions for Eric. I know people want to get their questions in. We have a lot of people asking, uh, are there secret codes in the game? Well, for perhaps hidden, if I said things, then it wouldn't be secret. Okay. <laughs> and then Hao Nguyen out of Brampton, Ontario, wants to know, are there going to be PS3 trophies? Uh, good question. We're still working on our online strategy on the 360 and the PS, uh, PS, PS3 and the PC, uh, so we're holding word on that for now. Uh, do you have a release date yet? That's the most important question. Uh, we are releasing in November, November 18th in the United States, 21st overseas. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld is on its way. Eric Lindstrom, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing more of that game in the future. Right now we're going to go to a tape se segment. Kristen actually went out and got an interview and checked out a new game called The Agency, and we're going to take a look at that right now.